Now on KCRA 3. The Caldor Fire jumping Highway 50 in El Dorado County. Our folks on the ground are literally doing everything they can to contain this fire. The conditions crews are facing as they try to protect properties and limit the spread of the flames. More resources are being sent to the Caldor Fire. This happens to be um, a priority fire for as far as the nation's concerned. The biggest challenges firefighters say they're dealing with. And smoke from Northern California fires causing bad air quality in Lake Tahoe. How long the thick smoke could linger in the area. Where the news comes first. This is KCRA 3 News at 11. The Caldor Fire jumping Highway 50 today in El Dorado County. A spot fire near Kybers started to grow at around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Fire crews had expressed their concern about the potential for this happening over the past week. Highway Patrol shut down a 40-mile stretch of Highway 50 about 24 hours before the fire jumped the road today in anticipation of possible spot fires starting. The towns of Kybers and Strawberry were already evacuated. Live Copter 3 was over the fire at around 5.30 this afternoon. You can see the smaller plumes of smoke here from different parts of the fire. And we took this time-lapse video of the fire as the sun went down. This is looking north of Highway 88, just east of North South Road. You can see the bright orange flames on the left-hand side of your screen, and then the entire line of flames stretching across to the right. The Caldor Fire has burned more than 90,000 acres. Crews say that it is still at 0% containment. More than 24,000 people have been evacuated in El Dorado County due to this fire. More people are under evacuation warnings. Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan is tracking the fire's growth, but we begin our team coverage tonight with Erin Heft. She's at a section of Highway 50, which has been closed tonight near Kybers with the very latest. Erin. Walter, the fear tonight was that the Keldor fire was going to jump Highway 50 from south to north. It did that with the spot fires just like this one helped by the wind. Now the fear is for the over 13,000 homes and other buildings in the path of the fire tonight. As the sun set, ash falling from the sky.